This fierce and tenacious arctic wolf king is called Storm. The wolf king is all snow white and blends in with his surroundings. Next to Storm is the queen, Lightning. The primary task of the wolf king and queen is to lead the pack to survive in this cold wilderness. And in order to do so, they must hunt down their prey with all their might. And the wolf's prey is the one to North American bison. In the midst of the chase and the hunt, the two sides go back and forth in a thrilling story. In the north of Canada, near the Arctic, the winters are so cold that humans cannot survive. The photographer's machine goes on strike as the wind howls and the snow drifts. But the bison next to him munch on the grass. The bison have adapted perfectly to this extreme environment because therefore as a strong insulation can be firmly locked in the body heat. Even if the snow falls on them, will melt. The bison are huge with thick limbs and run like a tank in a hurry. The wolf weighs only 1 20th as much as the bison. A huge difference in strength, but the wolf eventually becomes the natural enemy of the bison. And the bison becomes the largest prey the wolf can capture. The hunt for the bison requires tactical, tacit cooperation between the entire pack. After the storm stops, the wolf king leads the pack in a roundup. And as the leader of the pack, strength and intelligence are essential. The king leads the pack from the back, trying to get the bison to run. But the bison are not impressed, knowing that only a frontal defense will give them an advantage. After all, they have strong horns. The wolves didn't move easily. They hovered around the herd, waiting for an opportunity to move. Wolves have a bloodline suppression of the bison, and herbivores are instinctively afraid of their natural enemies. Once a bison is cowed and begins to run for its life, the whole herd will run in chaos, and the wolves will have their chance. In the process of chasing and rounding up, wolves will observe and target the weaker targets, which will reduce the risk and increase the success rate of hunting. Deep snow becomes an obstacle to the bison's escape and the snow causes the bison to burn out quickly. The bison stepped out in front, causing the wolves to follow, saving them a lot of effort. When the wolves reach the brush, the herd is broken up. The king of the wolves, Storm, quickly locks onto a half-sized bison and bites it on the hind leg. The bison tries to fight back, but Storm will never let go. One of Storm's cubs has a chance to take on the bison alone, but it's still too young and lacks hunting skills. It tries to take the bison down head-on but he is trampled by the bison's feet. The cub wails in agony, probably breaking bones or rupturing internal organs. Scattered traces of blood were left on the snow. The wolf cub's inexperience has cost it dearly. Surviving in such a harsh environment means making no mistakes, or else you will be killed or injured. In contrast, his father, Storm, is an experienced hunter. With only his own strength, he took down a bison, which was so badly hurt that he could not get up. He hunts for food for his wolves. And even the crows benefit from the hunt. Storm and Lightning are very much in love, and they are ready for their breeding program in the spring. As winter turns to spring, the whole land comes to life, and the meandering river rushes on and on. The banks of the river are lined with dense coniferous forests, and a variety of migratory birds have returned to their nests. The Storm family is also enjoying the spring breeze, playing and enjoying the quiet time. Wolves also have a tender side, and the family is very close-knit. The wolves have shed their winter coats and their fur has become darker in color, allowing them to be more stealthy when hunting in the spring. The bison herds are in breeding season, with many females giving birth to babies and cats a few months old are easy prey. It's also the only time of year when wolves can hunt bison smaller than themselves. Lightning is scouting near the bison herd, and then she lets out a cry for support. The wolf's battle group responds quickly and soon reaches its destination. The calves are easy to deal with, but with the adult bison close by, the wolves have a tougher time hunting them. The wolf's method of hunting is to force the bison herd to run. As their runs in panic, the whole group gradually runs in a straight line, which is exactly what the wolves are looking for. Storm sets his sights on a lone calf, and just as he's approaching, the calf speeds up and runs back to its mother. Storm won't give up and keeps on chasing. The wolves can run for hours in search of an opportunity. The bison have incredible stamina. The chase can go on for more than 30 kilometers until one of them stops. But for the bison, to stop is to lose their lives. Soon, the herd makes its way through the trees to the river, where they panic and dive in headfirst. The wolves stop at the river, conserting their strength as a survival strategy. The wolves have turned back. But Lightning won't give up. She spots a single calf, quickly crossing the river. She doesn't hesitate to pounce on the calf. Even a calf is hard to kill at once. It has to be quick, because the mother will soon turn back to look for her cub. It's hard for a lone wolf to fight a full-grown bison. Sure enough, a mother returns in a panic, and Lightning dodges. She doesn't want to get into a fight with an angry mother. The mother licks her cub's wounds, hoping it will stand up. 
but the calf is left ready in pain. The next day the sun rose, the calf spent the night in agony, and the mother bison guarded it all night, but could do nothing. She could not bear to leave the calf behind, but if she broke away from the herd and was surrounded by wolves, she would surely die. Perhaps the end is foregone. The calf will never survive. The mother bison has no choice but to leave and run to her herd. Lightning has been on alert all night. Now, at last, her chance has come. She'll eat as much meat as she can, because she's not just a hunter, she's also a mother. It is a heartbreaking scene, but the cycle of life and death is one of nature's cycles. As the mother's cubs are waiting for her to return, as the cubs pamper themselves around their mother, lightning regurgitates the meat she has just eaten and feeds it to her cubs. All for the sake of her children, for the next months, she will be on the move, searching for food for her cubs. After a good meal, the cubs play with their mother's tail, looking no different from a mischievous puppy. The family is enjoying their time together. But then an unexpected visit arrives. A black bear has stumbled in, and if it finds the cubs, it's likely to kill them. The adults will never allow him near the den and a clash is inevitable and the two sides go back and forth for several rounds. Faced with the incessant attacks of the wolves, the black bear lost its last stubbornness and ran away. As the summer progressed and the newborn wolves became stronger, the wolves were caught in a dilemma. The prey is getting harder to find. While the young wolves are eating more and more, and the adults are carrying a heavier burden. It's been two weeks since the last hunt. Lightning's milk is running out and something has to be done. The wolves follow the river, searching for the bison, using their sense of smell, their sense of scent, and their sense of direction. Even the scent of a three-day-old animal can't escape their keen sense of smell. The scent leads the wolves into the woods, and the bison are indeed nearby. The hunt is on and the wolves have a hard time getting to them because of the cover of the trees. The wolves manage to drive the herd out of the woods, and one thrilling chase begins. The calf is attacked and the mother bison tries to protect it. Storm and lightning hold the cow at bay while another wolf attacks the calf. The calf knows its only chance of survival is to stay close to its mom. It's a fierce battle between the two sides. The wolf will to hunt is strong, but the bison mother's will to protect her cubs is even stronger. The wolves are unable to break up the mother and cub until they are hidden in the dense jungle. The wolves follow, but eventually, the bison mother and son get rid of them and accidentally save a stray calf. The wolves eventually return empty-handed, and tonight the cubs will have to go hungry. The pack has been without food for more than 10 days, and many of the pups have died from lack of food. Storm and lightning will have to work harder to keep the cubs alive through the summer of famine. As September rolls around, Fall is in full swing and the bison enter their mating season. The females in heat secrete sex hormones, and the bison sniff for a mate. Once mated, the females give birth to their young in the spring and summer, after a nine-month gestation period. At this time the storm family has also changed a lot. The weak pups have grown into half-grown wolves, and the hunting party has grown even bigger. The whole pack went out on this hunt, but the wolves still found nothing until they reached the peninsula. The pack decided to take the risk of crossing the river and move on. The river was three kilometers wide, and the water was very cold and blocked by a countercurrent. When the pack was halfway across, lightning suddenly turned around and swam back, followed by the cubs. When it was a matter of life and death, lightning's choice was a wise one, as the wolves were not yet adults and their endurance was far from enough. So the risk of swimming long distances was too great. As expected, the cubs were very tired when they came ashore. The other adult wolves, led by Storm, swam towards the other side of the river without looking back. After much effort, they finally made it to the shore. This is a patch of grass they have never set foot in before, and they hope to catch something here so that they can bring some food back to their children. But there was nothing here but a dried skeleton, and they were so hungry that they had to nibble on the remains. Suddenly there is a distant howl from the other side of the river. The call of lightning and the children. Storm raises his head to the sky to tell his wife and children that he is safe. The sound of wolf's howls has a strong penetrating power, which is an important way for them to convey information, and is also a bond for them to maintain their relationship. The cubs call out eagerly for their father's safe and early return. The next morning, the whole family is reunited for a new round of tracking and hunting. The bison are in the wooded meadow and the wolves are prowling around looking for an easy target. The wolves follow the same tactics as before, chasing the bison into a straight running formation. But the bison are all adults, making them difficult for the wolves to hunt. In the midst of the intense chase, Storm suddenly turned and ran to the other side. And the wolves followed Storm to the front of the two bisons. The two bisons, one young, one old, were the one Storm was after. The young bison took advantage of the storm to escape, 
leaving the old bison standing in the woods. He seemed to know he was doomed. The next morning, the wolf were already enjoying their meal, and there was no sign of any fight around. It's likely that the old bison died of fear and agony. The wolves had waited for their turn and did not attack. They seemed to smell the scent of death. This mysterious power is not possessed by humans, whose vaunted industrial civilization lies at the edge of the bison sanctuary. Humans have begun to encroach on their ancient home. Since industrial civilization, man's rapacious predation has led to the extinction of more than half of all living things. Hundreds of millions of creatures die every day at the hands of man's butchery. Who is crueler, man or wolf?